This is module three, lesson 21 homework on the back. Number four, Mr. Ramirez receives four sets of books. Each set has 16 fiction books and 14 nonfiction books. He puts 97 books in his library and donates the rest of his books. How many books does he donate? I know that he has four sets of books in each of those sets, he has 16 fiction books and 14 nonfiction books. When he's done, he puts 97 books on the shelf and he donates the rest. We need to find how many books he donated. First, we need to know how many books he started with. So I know that he has 14 fiction books, or 14 nonfiction books, and 16 fiction books, which will tell me how many books he has. When I look at this problem, I see that I have two parts. They're not equal though, and that I'm missing the total. When I have two unequal parts, but I'm missing the total, I'm going to add. So I will add 14 plus 16 to equal B. 4 plus 6 is 10. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. So in one set, Mr. Ramirez has 30 books. But Mr. Ramirez has more than one set. He has four sets. So I'm going to draw another tape diagram and this time I'm going to have four sets of books. In each set he has 30 books which is what we figured out in the first. So that's going to give me my total number of books. When I look at this tape diagram I notice I have equal parts because I have the same number in each part. I have four equal groups of 30 books, which is going to give me T. When I multiply 4 times 30, I get 120. I still have one more step because I know that he donated 97 books, I, or he has 97 books on the shelf. I need to figure out how many he donated. Mr. Ramirez had a total of 120 books. He put 97 on the shelf. I need to figure out how many he donated. When I look at this problem, I see I have the total and one part, but I am missing the other part. When I am missing a part, I subtract. And I should put a letter in that circle instead of a question mark. So let's use the letter D for donate. So I'm going to subtract 120 minus 97 will give me D. I'm rewriting on this side. 7 minus 0 I can't do. So I'm going to borrow from the 2 and turn it into a 1. Give to that 0 in the ten, in 1's place and turn it into a 10. 10 minus 7 is 3. Now I have 11 minus 9. 9, 10, 11. That's 2. So the donated books equals 23. Mr. Ramirez donated 23 books. Number 5. Celia sells calendars for a fundraiser. Each calendar costs $9. She sells 16 calendars to her family members and 14 calendars to the people in her neighborhood. Her goal is to earn $300. Does Celia reach her goal? Explain your answer. Well, I know her calendars each cost $9. She sold 16 calendars to her family and 14 calendars to people in her neighborhood. Her goal is to earn $300. I need to figure out, does Celia reach her goal? and I need to explain my answer. 
First, I have to figure out how many calendars Celia sold. So I'm going to come over here, and she sold 16 to her family, and she sold 14 to her neighbors, which is giving me the total number of calendars. If you look back at number four, you can see that this problem is already done for you right over here. So I can already use that to say that C equals 30. Celia sold 30 calendars. Now I can figure out how much money she made because they each cost $9. I could make 30 boxes, but I know my groups are 30, and in each box I would put 9. That would give me my total number of money. So I have the 30 calendars she sold times the $9 each they cost, which equals M. If I use my strategy, 3 times 9, just to forget about that zero for right now, 3 times 9 is 27, and I add the zero to the end. So Celia made $270. Looking back at my question, does Celia reach her goal? Explain your answer. Well, her goal was $300. So Celia did not reach her goal. In your own words, complete the problem by writing how you know Celia did not reach her goal. So again, number five not done until you write the words. Number six, the video store sells science and history book movies for $5 each. How much money does the video store make if it sells 33 science movies and 57 history movies? Well, first, again, we need to figure out how many movies were sold. So in my tape diagram, I'm going to label that I sold 33 science movies and 57 history movies were sold. If I look at this picture, I do not have equal groups, so I am not going to multiply. I do not know the total, though, so I'm still going to find the answer by doing an operation that will make my problem bigger. In this case, I'm going to add. You are going to add 33 plus 57 to give you M. M will be the total number of movies sold. Then you can come to step two and know that each movie was $5. So I have my total number of movies sold, which is M, times the $5 that they each were, which gives me T. Once you figure out what M is, you can replace the M in the second part with the number, and you can multiply that number times $5 to figure out what T equals for how much money the video store made. Give number six a try. Don't forget to finish number five.